end of October is almost here, but the fight continues on to raise awareness for breast cancer. Joining me live now over Zoom to talk about Sprinkle Me Pink is Cynthia Perkins and Dr. Denisha Hendricks with the city of Selma. Thank you all so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you. Cynthia, we'll start with you. Tell us all about this event. Okay, this is called, of course, Sprinkle Me Pink. And this event is a color walk or run or stroll event. And when I say color, we're doing the uh, pink color run type event. And when the walkers get to certain stations along the walking trail, they will be sprinkled with pink. Dr. Hendricks, tell us why it's so important to host something like this and host it in Selma. I tell you, it's so important for us to have events like this to just bring awareness of making sure of breast cancer awareness and making sure that number one, we remind all of our citizens, men and women, because we don't yes. want to forget about the men because they certainly need to check their chest just like the women. And it's so important for us to remind everyone how important it is to get your annual breast exams if you're eligible for that. Also to recognize and celebrate survivors because they're all around us. And so we wanna make sure to do both of those things at the same time. And it's important to do that in this area and especially in Selma, where we've really just started to have official breast cancer walks because some of the other larger organizations don't do that here in our area. So it's so important for us as a city and then to partner with the first lady of our city and various community organizations. Cynthia, what really inspired you and why do you want to make sure you sprinkle everyone in pink that day? I was inspired uh, about my struggle with breast cancer and I've always wanted to make the awareness uh, known to our community and let them uh, come out, let people come out and celebrate those who are survivors as well as you know those who have gained their wings uh sherry summers was one of my uh, sherry summers james was a great inspiration uh, to me and she gained has gained her wings and i was just wanting to do something to honor those who have gained wings and those who have survived uh, breast cancer and those who are struggling right now uh, in the battle of breast cancer. So many people are impacted all across our area when it comes yes. to breast cancer. Dr. Hendricks, give us the most important details, date, time, and location, how people can come out, help you raise awareness, and remember those people. Well, we will be at the stadium in the park right next to the stadium, and it's actually called Valley Creek Park. Most people say Block Park, and that's where they know where to come. And so we will be at the park. We'll be there Sunday, October 29th from 3 o'clock to 5 o'clock. Setup will begin at 2. We're looking forward to having everyone come. Please make sure if you want to participate in a different way as a vendor, if you have something uh, that you would like to pass out, uh, pink items, of course, uh, you would definitely need to let us know uh, by the end of the day today. And you can certainly call 334-327-9665. We're looking forward to everyone coming out on Sunday afternoon, October 29th. Absolutely. All right, ladies, thank you for all that information. And thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for having us again.